Especially post-Darwin in, in oh, the yeah, 1860s. Particularly post-Darwin. It was a major mm. collapse of Christian intellectuals before it. Mm. Somebody wrote a, an article. It was a man's name Livingston. I think I referenced him in that little book. Challenging the theory that many hold that when Darwin's material was published and starts sweeping the field, and particularly as his, quote, bulldog Thomas Huxley is barking at everybody, scaring them back, that the church mounted a serious resistance and that the conservative theologians did battle with him. He shows that is not the case at all. The whole church, nearly the whole church collapsed, mm. particularly the conservative theologians collapsed before it, you know, shed and very great man like Warfield and others mm -hmm. felt that you would be so out of line with what their mm -hmm. colleagues in various universities thought was proper scientific procedure that they had to make mm -hmm. some kind of common cause with it, although they remained Christian. So sure. the church did not fight Darwin. Mm -hmm. Bishop Wilberforce did. One could name two or three others, mm -hmm. but hundreds gave in immediately. The church did not mount a resistance.